Welcome back, everyone. Alongside Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Looking forward to this EASHL showdown. Referee Shilamak ready to drop the puck on this one. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dot. The Maple Leafs start with possession as we are now underway. Back on a stick now. Puck lands back onto a stick. Looking to make something happen along the board. Looking for that glitcher. Stopped by the goaltender. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. And he gets the puck right back. Here's a short pass to Marchand. Puck grabbed by Morrow. Picked up along the wall by Clefbaum. And now it's over to Buns. Picked off in the open ice. Manages to hang on. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. Gets the puck back onto a stick. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Carries it across the line. The 360 with the puck. The Bruins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Pushes it across to Ronaldo. Easily kicked away by the goalie. Oh, and another big stop! And look at that after the whistle here. Clearly trying to go him into something. Yeah, or hurt him. That's a pretty good slap. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Slides it over to Vital. Boston's got the puck here in the open ice. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Caught him just as he was picking up speed, and he's going to pay for it with the trip. Oh, you're spinning with him. You're trying to get your stick into the puck lane, and you end up tripping him up. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. And he says no! Doesn't matter whether you've had one or ten power plays. The fundamentals of it are the same. Win the draw, get the puck to the point, try and spread the penalty killers out. With the steal. Here's a chance to try to get it out of the defensive zone. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Takes it across the blue line. Denied by the goaltender. Buns wins the faceoff. Toronto's looking to break out. Moves it quickly over to Clefbaum. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Puts it in deep. Little stick handling in his own zone. Quick pass to Ronaldo. And the PK unit gets their man out of the box. And that one's turned away. And nobody's going to be very happy about that one, James. No real chances generated. No momentum game. Just a couple of minutes roll off the clock. Feeds it to Ronaldo. And officials right on top of that one, calling for a slashing penalty, it looks like. Comes up with a stop. And here comes the judgment from the official. The officials making the call. You know, you had, what, over 400 goals? Different kind of schoolwork here. A little different. I, I would say this is probably the penalty I took as much as any. Really? Yeah, you get a little bit behind and or you get a little bit frustrated in the slash is the one. Or is that the Ferraro temper? No, it's... Yeah. <laughs> Stop by the goaltender. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Scooped up along the wall by Marchand. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. And play resumes. 
Jones as the puck is dropped. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Gets that puck back on a stick. And I think he's seen enough as he stops the play by covering up the puck. Oh, guys are going to be bent over trying to gasp for a breath. They'll be in favor of that move. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Takes the feed at the point. And that's blocked. The Maple Leafs have it against the wall. Cleft bombs got it through the neutral zone. And manages to clear the zone. Time winding down here. One last chance for this man advantage. They've spent too much time going up and down the ice. They've got to get it into the zone quickly. Takes the save. Cliff bombs got it in the defensive end. Slides it on over to Bonds. And that's intercepted. And a great heads up defensive play here. Here they come on the attack. Puck scooped up by Ronaldo. Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. With possession along the wall. Puck picked up by Little. Little's taking it from his own end. Gets it out of his own end. Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. Dick's going off for charging. Just can't hit like that anymore. Too long a run to finish the check. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. Hey, here's a power play, and the game is scoreless. What a nice opportunity for them to kick the other team in the shins a little bit, get the lead, and play from in front. Takes the pass in the offensive zone. Moves the puck behind the net. Right up front with the stop. Taken by Ronaldo. Carries it in. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's the pass. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Move to the middle. Here he is in front. Moves it around along that the half wall. That's a solid hit. And makes the routine save. The Bruins will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. And manages to clear the zone. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Both teams back to even strength as the power play expires, and we are still tied here. I can't... He scores! I think this is a shot the goalie should catch. It's low on the glove side. It's in a good position. He doesn't catch up and get it. Here in the late going to the frame, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Scored by number 24. Takes the feed. And now it's grabbed by Little. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Oh, and a great defensive play there. Moves the puck along the half wall. And now he moves it quickly to Buns. The hard sounds of the first period comes to an end. A lone goal is the difference so far through the first 20. It's a 1-0 game. Two is set to go. 
Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Ray, we've already got 20 minutes under our belt here. What are your thoughts on this one so far? Bangs had lots of pad taps in that first period, James. I don't know what the score might look like if he wasn't so good. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Great reflexes, another save. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Boston's got the puck. Up along the wing. Moves the puck into the attacking area. And now he tries to get it across to Marchand. Vitaly scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Hangs on to the puck. Moves it to Morrow. Pass right on the doorstep. Into the corner. Great chance, wrapper on in front. Oh. Scores! That's a race to the post every time on the wrap. This time the shooter gets there and finishes it off. This is actually a pretty difficult deep. Going to the forehand every time is hard. He goes over to his forehand side, and he has to get it past the goaltender. It's a good move. Toronto's now up by two in the second. They worked hard to push this lead from one to two. I like the way that they've been playing. Scored by number eight, assisted by number eight. Uses the boards with the bank pass. The Maple Leafs have it from their own end. That big hit. Grabs the puck at center. Quick feed for oh, yeah. three consecutive goals. Yeah, the goalie keeps looking over to the coach and saying, why am I still in here? Three straight for them. Toronto's been rather efficient when it comes to scoring chances tonight. Could you say that, Ray? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's it's a little bit surprising they got a three-goal yeah. lead the way that the game has been played. They don't have as many shots as their opposition. They've just been better finishing the puck. Maintains possession. Shoots it on the backhand. Scores! Is that momentum screaming now? Why well, whispering? If they can get another one, he'll start to scream here. Oh, this shot beats him clean here, but he doesn't see it. I think he's got to work a little harder. There's only one person in front of the net. He shouldn't be screened so completely. The Bruins have shown some life here in the second. It's about time, James. They're down two. They've got a long way to go to claw back into this. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Knocked away. Marchand's got it in top. Breakaway! Oh, he didn't have enough gas to get the shot off. Really good work by the defender to close the gap. Now he slides it up to Vital. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Angles it over to Marchand. Let's it fly. And he misses. That's a good scoring opportunity. He doesn't capitalize on a great A chance. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Buns. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Puck grabbed by Little. Gets it over to Ronaldo. Nice dish from the left wing. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. Vitaly's lugging the puck. Grabs the puck. Grabbed along the boards by Clefbaum. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. Puck lands right back onto the blade. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. Boston's had a lot of good looks on net, but they continue to trail here in the second. Off the drive, a nice jump. He scores! They didn't sit back after getting that on here. A quick flick of the wrist and that snapshot beats the goaltender. He's in the low slot. He doesn't have much time to think about it. The Bruins seem to have new life here as they get back to center. Pretty easy to tell from where I'm standing, James. The bench erupted when the goal went in the net. Now they're only down by one. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Lays the body. Boston's got control of the puck. And now he angles it across to Ronaldo. To his teammate! And that one's broken up. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Slides the puck down low. Tries to oh. in! That and he's was going after the 
The Bruins gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Little's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. On the attack along the boards. Shot to slot mid. He scores! Deuce is wild for him now. Well, that makes your night. I'll tell you, it's great to score one. You get a second one. It's such a rush. Thinking had he yet? Oh, he should be. I mean, he's got two in the bag already. I'll tell you one guy that would be thinking Hattie. Me. Boston's had plenty of good looks offensively, but they have been snake bit as they trail late in this second period. Over the line, he comes. And the gloves are off, ready to respond with a different kind of hit. Dick's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. And that goes off the player in front. Boston's grabbed a hold of the puck. Rocked on the play. any time if he would have stopped that puck the goalie would have had time to readjust as it is it's in the net boston's got one back late in the second how does that change things now ray from their bench it seems like they're pretty excited they jumped up they're loud they're ready to go as they try to find the equalizer directs it on over tomorrow They've got numbers. Sends it over. Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. And they're off to the races for the loose puck. With the bank pass. And the pass is picked off. Can't get it to go. Horn sounds to end the second period. It's a one-goal game with a third period looming. It should be electric. 4-3 is where things stand. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. There's been no shortage of firepower after the first 40 minutes, and we are underway here in the third. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? Toronto's ahead in this high-chance, high-danger game. No use changing the way you're going to play now. Slides the puck across tomorrow. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Into the corner of the attacking area. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Carries it across the line. Into the corner now. Shot from the point. Tries to get it out of harm's way. That's a slash on that play. And the referee's all over it. Here comes the official's call. Slashing the call. A pretty dangerous one at that. That's way too big a swing to get away with. He's going to go to the box. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. They've been running around trying to get this game tied up. They earn a power play, and now they'll have that chance. Quick puck movement always seems to work best for them. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Boston's been the better team, but not necessarily boasting the better goaltender trailing early in the third. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Long pass up ahead to center. Takes it across the blue line. Toronto 
Joe's got it behind the net. Dick's got the puck in his own zone. Now he takes it over the line. The Maple Leafs get a hold of the puck under man. Working to shake the pressure from the defensive zone. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. Oh, he's trying to shoot that off the glass. James under a little bit of pressure. He panics, shoots it over the window. Now he's got to go steal James for two minutes. Then you go free after that, right? Not a lot of time to work, but they still have a five on three. It's a short five on three, James, so the faceoff becomes even more critical. If you lose it, you chase it down the ice, and most of that five on three is gone. Here's a stretch pass to Marchand. Here's a chance right in front. Here's a backhander. Close, but not close enough. Not going to get many better chances from that. Dead center, right in the slot. Toronto's got the puck shorthanded. The Maple Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. And now he moves it to Morrow. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves the puck across to Dick. Marchand's got the puck. Moved in front! And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Grabs the puck here in their own end. No goals on the power play, and they still trail by one. You work so hard to get yourself back in the game, you earn a power play, and then you fail to cash in. So they still trail by one. The game will continue at even strength. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Stays with it. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. And he slides it quickly to Marchand. Here's a short pass to Dick. Picks up the puck in his own end. Slides the puck across to Marchand. Deep inside the defensive end, still trying to clear. Hits him right into the boards. Ah, that's still smart. You can know it's coming, but the boards are solid. That always rattles you. Right out front. The Maple Leafs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. That was Great hit on the play. Nice. Here they come on the attack. Just slide. Takes the puck at the point. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. More than half the frame has been played here. It's been a fun one here tonight. 4-3 hockey game. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Sends the pass down low. And on the backhand. Gives them nothing in front. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Gets it out of his own end. And he gets a paddle on that one. Dead center. Excellent save. Boston's Achilles heel tonight has been finding offense as they trail here in the third. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Quick pass to Morrow. From the left side, takes it at center. That goes wide. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. And he passes it up ahead to Marchand. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And manages to clear the zone. Pushes it across to Marchand. Shot along the wall. Oh, what a close save. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Clef bombs moving the puck through his own zone. The Bruins have it in the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Morrow. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Buns gains the zone. Huge steal in his own end. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. Here he is in front, and that's picked off. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Here comes the official's decision.
a little tripping call here on this yeah, one, right? Sometimes I think you just get burned here, a little bit of a bad break. You're fishing around for the puck, and your stick gets into the other guy's feet. Another huge opportunity looming here on the man advantage. Scores! I can't imagine they thought this was even possible. They played so poorly early in the game. They've worked their way all the way back to tie the score. Boston's late third period goal certainly opens up a lot of decision making for the coaches, doesn't it? It does, but they must feel pretty good about their position because they just scored. I suspect they've got a little bit of a leg up even though the game is tied. The Maple Leafs look to start the transition game. Carries it in. Boston's ready to go on the attack. Ronaldo's got it along the wing. Blocked in traffic. Vitali stick handling in his own zone. Boston's got it in the neutral zone. Glides along the blue line. And, and we got a delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle stops the play. Charging is the call, and I don't think anybody's going to argue this one. Nah, that's a frustrated player that had that bubbling up inside him. He sees a chance to make a big hit. He makes it, but it's too much. Power play unit going back to work. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. 19 minutes, 44 seconds. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Offensive zone faceoff, and he wins the draw. Puck leaves the zone, forcing a mass exodus. Quick Looking shot, for that big first right. stop. Still nothing solved as the third period comes to an end. We've got overtime looming. Power play gets back to work here as we are underway in the period. They win the draw. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Heads deep inside. He scores! There it is! OT winner! They needed overtime, but they come up big in the extra frame. Always an unbelievable feeling to score an overtime goal. You score and you feel that you've just ended it. It's so, so cool to do. Well, this one's in the books. A fun one tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James. Sim